So in this example problem, we're going to show how you can express the force um, that's given it, that's drawn on our diagram um, as a Cartesian vector. So what we want to do is we want to define f. You just figure out what is its x component, what is its y component, and what is its z component. So that's the goal uh, of this problem. So what the information that we were given from the problem statement is we were given the magnitude of force F, and we were given that it was 200 newtons. We were also given two of the three coordinate direction angles. So we know that uh, uh, beta, which relates to the y angle between the y-axis and our vector, is 60 degrees, and we know that uh, gamma, the, ac the angle between the z-axis and uh, our vector, is equal to uh, 45 degrees. All right, so, um, so what we can do is we can solve for our last coordinate direction angle, which is unknown. And once we have uh, alpha, beta, and gamma all defined, what we can then define is we know that we know that co cosine of alpha is equal to f of x divided by the total magnitude of f, right? We also know that cosine beta is equal to f of y divided by the magnitude of f. And we know that cosine gamma can, uh, is equal to f of z divided by the magnitude of force f. So using these three definitions, we can rearrange them. If we rearrange these equations, equations by uh, multiplying both sides by by f, um, the magnitude of f, what we'll end up getting is we'll get uh, we'll get equ equations for f of x, we'll get equations for f y, and we'll get equations for f z, and we have f x, f y, and f z. We can plug those into the Cartesian uh, form of vector f, and we can write it as a Cartesian vector. So, um, so without any further ado, to solve for alpha, we can use our two other coordinate direction angles. We know that uh, cosine of alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared must be equal to 1. So we can say that cosine alpha would be equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine beta squared. So the cosine of beta is the cosine of 60 degrees. Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half squared. And then cosine of gamma is uh, of 45 degrees is equal to uh, square root 2 over 2 squared. So if we evaluate all that out, we get 1 minus 1 quarter minus 2 over 4, which is the same thing as a half. So if you do that, we end up getting a square root of 1 quarter, which is uh, equal to 1 half. So cosine of alpha is equal to 1 half, which we know is equal if we take the inverse cosine of 1 half, we'd end up with uh, 60 degrees uh, for alpha. Okay, so now we have alpha, beta, and gamma. So we're just going to plug in alpha, beta, and gamma into uh, these three equations and solve for each of them. Okay, so you can write our vector f is equal to the magnitude of f times cosine alpha i plus the magnitude of f times cosine beta plus uh, times the unit vector j plus the magnitude of f times the cosine of gamma times k. So if we plug in our values uh, for the magnitude of f, 
um, we'd end up getting cosine of alpha, or cosine of 60 degrees we know is a half. Uh, cosine beta would be uh, equal to, uh, uh, would also be 60 degrees, so that's also going to be equal to a half. All right, and then our last component, cosine alpha, we know would be equal to uh, radical 2 over 2 times the magnitude of f, which is equal to 200 newtons. All right, so the last, so if we do all that math, what we end up getting is we get uh, 100 newtons i plus 100 newtons j plus uh, 141.42 newtons K, um, and if we round to significant figures, we would just say it'd be 100 newtons I plus 100 newtons J plus uh, 141 newtons. All right. So just to recap, what we did in this example, we took our, we had, we looked at, uh, we were told to find the three uh, components FX, FY, and FC of our force vector, we were given the magnitude and two out of the three coordinate direction angles. We could then use the coordinate uh, direction angle, uh, the relationship we know between the coordinate and direction angles that the squares of all of the cosine terms have to be equal to one. Uh, with that, we found alpha. Once we found alpha, we could then set our, uh, write our Cartesian vector as the, uh, each component is equal to the magnitude of the overall vector times the the cosine of the coordinate direction, direction angle that corresponds with the x, y, and the z axis.